Can Barrett get back into it? And we return live to Raw. I'll be right back. Okay. Saturday morning. Where's he going? Doesn't he know about the WWE second screen experience? She does. She's got the WWE app with WWE active. She knows when Raw goes to commercial, the action doesn't stop. The interviews don't stop. The tweets don't stop. Nothing stops. It's like she's backstage with an all access pass without even having to leave her couch. So, what I missed? Everything. Well, this protein shake couldn't get any sadder. It looks and tastes just like fecal matter. Oh, Rosa. R O S A Rosa. <laughs> when it comes to talent, you're completely void. And I have no idea why you're still employed. Oh, Rosa. R O S A Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> and if you think that's the worst you can hear from me, you better thank God I have to keep this PG O Rosa. R O S A Rosa. You're welcome. So, Mark, I've got to get your, your take on the fact that this man, th th this troll, in my opinion, oh, Daniel give Bryan some credit to the world, world heavyweight Bryan. champion Daniel Bryan. How do you simmer down and let the former champ talk? What do you think of Daniel Bryan? I think Daniel Bryan is a great talent. In the midget division. Yeah, I agree with you. In, in, in the in the midget division. It so, Mark, I gotta ask you, who would win a matchup between uh, Daniel Bryan and Hornswoggle? I can't believe you asked me a dumb question like that. Well, I mean, what relevancy does that have to me being out here and me not having that title? You tell me. I guess none. I apologize, Mark. I mean, just trying to, have, you know, bring a little, little light. If you don't have to nothing smart to say, don't say nothing at all. And here we go. World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Daniel Bryan defending his title for the very first time against the Big Show. I think this is going to be a massacre. And, Mark, to that point, do you think it's fair that the Big Show gets the first opportunity to challenge Daniel Bryan for the world title? No, I don't think it's fair. I was the champion. I lost. I should have the first rematch. Well, Mark, with all due respect, the Big Show was actually the last world champion. Shut up! Oh! Well, you heard the man. But Daniel Bryan! I cannot believe this. Well, smart move by Daniel Bryan. Get up, Big Show! If Big, Show, if Big Show's counted out, Daniel Bryan retains the title. Oh, Daniel Bryan will take a count out victory, I guarantee you that. I don't think I'll ever tell him to get up again. Come on, Show! I hope he does get counted out. That means I get Bryan. And Daniel Bryan can't last five minutes with me. Referee to a count of seven. Will the Big Show get counted out here? Will Daniel Bryan retain his title? Good. Oh, from one knee, Man, the, the referee is, he is definitely getting paid for this. That's uh, the slowest count I ever saw. Well, he is on the payroll. Ooh. Michael Carr, I'll tell you what, you say one more word, I'm going to slap the taste out your mouth. You Ooh. understand me? Yes, sir. Daniel WWE app, part of WWE Active. Sheamus and Wade Barrett one-on-one -on -one here tonight. We're being joined in commentary by Mark Henry. And it looks like, Mark, your uh, challenge has been accepted to take on Sheamus at Extreme Rules. I'm glad about that because he's kind of got that coward in him, so I figured he'd back out. And this matchup continues. Oh. I want to remind everyone watching oh. on the app that uh, coming up uh, in our next commercial break, we're actually going to have exclusive footage from employees at WWE headquarters of destruction inside Triple H's office. That's coming up here on the app in just a little bit. Michael Cole said that you knew that Sheamus had a match was the reason you came out here. That's what Michael said. Well, Mark, I don't it, buy it, that at all. It's been scheduled all day long, the Barrett-Sheamus match. We knew before we came on the air. Listen, man, I don't care about his match. I came out here to do me. You, understand? you know what? I don't even need to talk to y'all. Oh, way to go, Michael. We had the world's strongest man here on commentary, and you do something like that and insult him, and now we don't have the world's strongest man on commentary anymore. I gotta talk to you. Well, you're the one that brought it up. I was just thinking. No, no, that. no. You're the one that brought it up. I'm the one that stooged you for bringing it up. You wanna add anything, King? 
as Parrott and well, Jameis you, continue to... Uh, you heard the reason that Mark Henry came out here. Brawl outside the ring, and Jameis will now meet Mark Henry at Extreme Rules. What was the reason? I don't even remember. Here's the cover and a kick out. Really, I don't know what the reason was. For what? For, for him coming out here. Remember what he said? What was the quote, King? He said, I came out here to do me. Glad you clarify that. Glad John was he said by what? The way. He wanted to talk about himself. Hey, what did he hey, say? Will you ask he Mark? He said he wants to do me. Can you can you please see if Mark would rejoin us on commentary? Michael, he At didn't least want to do you. He wanted to do me. <laughs> At least when he comes back to Monday Night Raw in USA, maybe he'll he'll join us again. We're we're heading back to USA. Maybe we'll try to get Mark Henry back on commentary. Maybe he'll do me. We are back live on Monday Night Raw. Wade Barrett one-on-one -on -one with Mark Henry. We're joined at ringside. Uh, Say something I'm stupid sorry. again well, like you I'm, did on Listen, that. I'm all flustered because Mark Henry's out here. It's Sheamus versus Barrett. Mark Henry's on commentary. He's rejoined us after uh, he got a bit upset with us. So because you, why don't you just be quiet and let these men talk? Yes, you're just sitting there. Ate up with stupid. Wall to wall stupid. God. The question I posed to you was... He you just told you to be quiet. Yeah, he said you ate up with stupid. Did you just say ate up with stupid? Yes. Keep talking here. I'm going to beat the brakes off of you in just a minute. Just keep talking. Well, I just thought maybe he might. Shut up! God! Bradshaw carried us like you always do. Thank you, Mark Henry. Yeah, and did you hear what he said, Cole? Yeah, and then I was ate up with stupid. Shut up! Shut up! Man, How about that? Wade, Wade Barrett. Being quietened down as well. Oh, oh, look out here. Knocked off the oh. apron. Mark Henry is off commentary. I guess you guys uh, ticked him off. And we, we, we ticked him off. You ticked him off because you're ate up with stupid. It's actually eaten up, but nonetheless. <laughs> oh, you're the grammarian because you went to Syracuse. Watch out now, guys. Watch out, guys. It's Ziggler and Christian. Going to be a great matchup here on Friday Night SmackDown. Cody, uh, you may be surprised, uh, but my colleague here, Booker T, actually made you number one in his Fave Five this week. I have a Fave Five. It's a list of hypocrites. And Booker T is number one because all he does is sit out here and talk about how horrible I am. But thank you very much. Number one in the Fave Five. Uh, you oh, look at this. this. Well, you only put in there because of your ability alone, Cody. I do believe in your ability. Your attitude, that's another story. But we can look past that. Uh, right now, and keep your eye on Christian. Whoa! You Man. Know, what do you say, huh? You gonna be with us for the Come whole on. show? Come on. Well, Booker T is not here. Who, I, I, who I, better? I, I have learned more from Cody Rhodes in the past two minutes and 42 seconds than I've learned from Booker in eight months. Thank you very much. And Cody, you can Thank actually you. understand what he's saying. He can put a sentence together. Booker T, you're gonna sit out here with a, a dictionary trying to figure out what he's saying. A pronunciation guide. Sandow delivering a knee right to the jaw of Beautiful. the Miz. A lot of activity. Here's the cover by Sandow. Kick out. A lot of activity going on in the WWE app. We understand that right now the Intercontinental Champion Wade Barrett uh, is conducting an interview. And from what we're being told, he has some uh, choice words to uh, say about the man he won the Intercontinental Championship from, The Miz. Yeah, very interesting that Miz has returned to WWE with such a big target on his back. Not only Wade Barrett, but you, Cody, this Sunday. And for the record, I like that jacket. That white piping is very nice. Oh, I, I'm, I don't need to answer fashion-wise to a guy who's wearing leather bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> That's they were, they were a That's gift. They were a gift. Sand oh, down. Oof. to the back of the neck. Hey, Cody, I'm a big old Grand old Opry fan. That's not a, one of like from Earl Scruggs uh, State, is it? That jacket, the jacket you're wearing. I was wondering if it was like Porter Wagner or Earl Scruggs. This audience needs to stand on their feet. Hands up, hands up. If you're sitting, you better stand up for Damian Sandow. Show some respect. See what you did now. I like Earl Scruggs. And look at Sandow off the suplex. So are you planning on keeping the love stash? Love stash, mustache, whatever you want to call it. It's none of your business, Michael Cole. Josh thinks you look like Errol Flynn. <laughs> uh, honestly? I do too. I honestly, mean, Errol Flynn I, was a huge star. That Good is looking a guy. Or Ron Burgundy. Okay, I, I got Ron Burgundy. Who is Errol Flynn? Thank you. Oh, you're going to have to Google it, Cody. Go Google Ooh. it. Oh, wait. Kane, how did you like Dr. Shelby? Say something, Kane. Go! Cody, Go! would you please? I am in between you two, and I'm retired. I really don't make a move. 
please. You didn't do so well earlier when you made it mad, Cody. I hate to bring that up, but he just Oh, gosh. Did. He just nobody did. on this broadcast? Oh, oh, God. Cody, I'm sorry, but he did choke slam you and beat you one, two, three today. Don't make him mad again. Is this? Watch out. Daniel Bryan responsible for the fact that the Big Show has the shortest World Heavyweight Championship reign ever. 45 seconds when Brian cashed in his Money in the Bank contract. Well, I think it's beginning to dawn and on how Daniel many Bryan. months did I carry? I, I think how many months did I have it? Mark, you, you dominated. Let me ask the question. Oh. How many months did I have? Half the year. It wasn't 45 seconds. I think it's beginning to dawn on Daniel Bryan that he's not going to be able to beat the Big Show here tonight. The power inside. Get back in the much. ring. What you taking a rest for? Get back in there. Well, and now we've been joined by a couple of guys who may not have pleasant memories of Night of Champions. The Hart Dynasty with us, guys. Welcome. Hey, thank you, Tyson Thank and, you. Uh, David Hart Smith. Uh, so what did you guys do last night after you lost the title? Did you, I don't know, did you go back to your room and listen to some Celine Dion songs and uh, cry yourself to sleep? Yeah, that's exactly what I did, Cole. You know, uh, you, make a, you make a pretty good comedian. Probably better than what you're doing right now. Maybe you should give it a check. That was good. Nonetheless, here come the new tag team champs. Well, folks, we want to make sure you don't miss an exclusive look at SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 on the hit show WCG Ultimate Gamer this Thursday at 11.10 Central, only on Sci-Fi. Get a taste of the action before it hits stores. Guest starring WWE superstar Ted DiBiase. So, Hard Dynasty, you guys can go home and actually play SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 and become the tag champs again. <laughs> So funny, I almost forgot to laugh. I apologize, guys. Michael, uh, he's in some sort of <laughs> mood tonight. What's wrong with you, Cole? Santino and Vladimir Kozlov against Dashing, Cody Rhodes, and Drew McIntyre. Hey, guys, I got to ask a question. Does David Hart Smith ever, ever speak, or do you do all the talking for him? He, he does a lot of speaking. He can, uh, if you want, he can even speak with Drew McIntyre. And here comes Listen Kozlov. here, Michael Cole. Does he bark, or does he speak? What's he do? Listen here, Michael Cole. Drew McIntyre and Cody Rhodes are not going to be the WWE Tag Team Champions eh, for very long, you know? <laughs> well, how about that? Who was that? That was Drew McIntyre. Oh, oh, I, like I know he's hard to hard. understand. Yeah, keep your day job. <laughs> anyway, uh, Yeah, you too. Come on, Get a little biscuit, King. It, it was hard for you to tell because uh, David here had a lot more clarity than, than Drew does. Yeah. Well, you know, David, I was actually going to ask if you were going to drive the commentary here tonight, but I heard you got a ticket for driving 15 miles under the speed limit. <laughs> that, that's actually true. That That's actually true. And if, if David was driving, we, we wouldn't be here right now tonight. Listen, I just go the speed limit, play by the rules, no tickets, no nothing. That's why you guys are pretty boring out here tonight on commentary. Oh, come on, Cole. Oh. Drew and Cody, right. dashingly superb. It's very impressive. That's really impressive. Uh, impressive. Uh, this match. Uh, very impressive. Thanks, guys. You were impressive, too. Don't forget that we have, uh, we have a rematch clause that we play both next week here on Raw. Really? Yeah, yeah really. Well, I hope you do better in the ring than you did out here tonight. But it was a great time having you guys. It was awesome. It really was. It was my pleasure, Michael. Oh, hey, get, get great invitations, by the way. Awesome. If you guys want to just reach over and slap him, I'll, no. I'll move out of your way. No. No disrespect. No disrespect. Come on, Michael. Not at all. Look at these guys. Look at these Look guys. Look at You might just want to pay attention to those guys, not me. Yeah, you're holding it upside down, Cody. <laughs> that was the best line of the night out here. <laughs> We are back on the first SmackDown of 2012. World Championship hangs in the balance. Daniel Bryan, the improbable world champion against the big show, Mark Henry, a former world champion, has joined us here at commentary. Let's go. Let's go. Mark, I would think you'd want Daniel Bryan to win here tonight, right? Daniel, get back in the ring!